Uralic. The Uralic language family originated several thousand years ago near the Ural Mountains, which form a natural boundary between Europe and Asia. From this homeland, early Uralic-speaking groups gradually migrated west into northern and eastern Europe and east across Siberia. The family includes well-known modern languages such as Finnish, Hungarian, and Estonian, alongside many smaller regional and indigenous languages. Uralic is traditionally classified into branches like Finnic, Ugric, and Samoyedic, based on historical relationships and shared ancestry. Today, Uralic languages are spoken by approximately 25 million people. Most speakers live in Finland, Hungary, and Estonia, while smaller communities remain in Russia. Several minor Uralic languages are endangered due to migration, assimilation, and long periods of political pressure, and modern revitalization efforts aim to preserve cultural identity and historical heritage worldwide. Kartvelian. The Kartvelian language family is spoken mainly in the Caucasus region, centered in modern Georgia, with smaller communities in northeastern Turkey and within diaspora populations worldwide. Georgian is the most widely spoken Kartvelian language and serves as Georgia's official language, while Mingrelian, Laz, and Svan are used regionally. Altogether, Kartvelian languages are spoken by about 5 million people today. The family originated thousands of years ago in the Southern Caucasus, developing independently from surrounding language groups. As early Georgian kingdoms expanded during the medieval period, Georgian grew into a major literary, religious, and administrative language. Kartvelian languages are commonly classified into a southern group, including Georgian and Mingrelian Laz, and a northern branch represented by Svan. Despite historical pressure, these languages remain powerful symbols of regional identity, cultural continuity, and resilience. Mongolic. The Mongolic language family is spoken across Central and East Asia, primarily in Mongolia, Northern China, and parts of Siberia and Russia. Mongolian is the most widely spoken language and serves as the official language of Mongolia, with related varieties spoken by minority communities elsewhere. Altogether, Mongolic languages are spoken by roughly 10 million people. The family originated on the Eastern Eurasian steppe, where nomadic cultures developed thousands of years ago. Mongolic languages spread widely during the expansion of the Mongol Empire by Genghis Khan in the 13th century, reaching from East Asia into Eastern Europe. Mongolic is classified into several branches, including Central Mongolic and peripheral varieties. Although political change reduced their range, Mongolic languages remain closely tied to steppe history, identity, and nomadic cultural traditions today across modern Eurasia, today region. Koreanic. The Koreanic language family is spoken primarily on the Korean Peninsula, including both North and South Korea, with smaller communities in China, Japan, and global diaspora populations. Today, Korean is the only surviving language of this family and is spoken by over 80 million people worldwide. The family's origins trace back several thousand years to ancient populations in the peninsula and southern Manchuria. Over time, Korean developed independently from neighboring Chinese and Japanese cultures, forming a distinct linguistic and cultural identity. Historical Korean states, such as Guguryeo, Goryeo, and Joseon, helped standardize and spread the language. Koreanic is classified as a small family with a single modern language and historical varieties. Despite division between North and South Korea, the language remains a powerful symbol of shared heritage and identity today. Kradai. The Kradai language family is spoken across Southeast Asia and Southern China, especially in Thailand, Laos, Southern China, and parts of Vietnam and Myanmar. Well-known Kradai languages include Thai, Lao, and Zhuang, which are used by large national and regional populations. In total, the family is spoken by more than 90 million people. Kradai languages originated in southern China thousands of years ago, where early communities gradually expanded southward into mainland Southeast Asia. This movement was influenced by agriculture, trade, and contact with neighboring cultures. The family is commonly classified into branches such as Thai, Kra, and Kamsui. Today, Kradai languages play a central role in national identity, governance, and everyday communication across much of mainland Southeast Asia, where they continue shaping politics, culture, education, media, and regional history today. Mong Mien. The Mong Mien language family is spoken mainly in southern China and across parts of Southeast Asia, including Vietnam, Laos, Thailand, and Myanmar, with additional communities in the United States and other countries. Major languages include Hmong and Mien, which are used in daily life, education, and cultural traditions. Altogether, Hmong Mien languages are spoken by roughly 10 million people worldwide. The family originated in southern China thousands of years ago where early communities lived in mountainous regions. Historical migration, conflict, and resettlement gradually spread Hmong Mien speakers southward into Southeast Asia. The family is classified into two main branches, Hmongic and Mienic. Despite displacement and persecution in modern history, these languages remain vital symbols of identity, resilience, oral tradition, and shared heritage among Hmong and Mien communities today across many generations worldwide. Pamanyungan. The Pamanyungan language family is spoken across most of Australia covering nearly 90% of the continent in many Aboriginal communities. 
It includes hundreds of indigenous Australian languages, though many now have very small speaker populations. Today, Pamanyungan languages are spoken by fewer than 100,000 people, with many languages endangered or dormant. The family originated tens of thousands of years ago, as Australia's earliest inhabitants spread across the continent. Over long periods of isolation, regional cultures developed distinct languages while retaining shared ancestry. Pamanyungan is classified as a single broad family with numerous regional branches, rather than separate unrelated groups. European colonization caused severe population decline and language loss, but modern revitalization efforts focus on documentation, education, and cultural preservation to protect Australia's linguistic heritage for future generations. Nadine. The Nadine language family is spoken in North America, mainly across Alaska, Western Canada, and the Southwestern United States. Well-known Nadine languages include Navajo, Apache, and Tlingit, which remain culturally important today. Altogether, Nadine languages are spoken by roughly 200,000 people. The family likely originated in northwestern North America thousands of years ago, possibly linked to ancient migration routes from Asia. Nadine languages expanded southward over time, especially with the ancestors of the Apache and Navajo peoples. The family is commonly classified into Athabascan, Tlingit, and Ayak branches, though Ayak is now extinct. Despite historical suppression and displacement, several Nadine languages remain actively spoken, supported by revitalization programs, education initiatives, and strong community efforts today that emphasize cultural survival, intergenerational transmission, and linguistic pride across indigenous communities today. Uto Aztecan. The Uto Aztecan language family is spoken across Western North America, stretching from the Western United States through Central and Northern Mexico. Well-known Uto Aztecan languages include Nahuatl, Hopi, Comanche, and Shoshone, spoken by diverse indigenous communities. Today, the family has roughly 2 million speakers in total, Uto Aztecan originated thousands of years ago in the southwestern regions of North America before expanding southward into Mesoamerica. This expansion played a major role in the rise of powerful civilizations, including the Aztec Empire, which used Nahuatl as a lingua franca. The family is classified into northern and southern branches, reflecting early migration patterns. Although colonization caused population decline and language loss, several Uto Aztecan languages remain actively spoken and are supported by revitalization programs, education efforts, and cultural preservation initiatives today within indigenous communities today. Austronesian. The Austronesian language family is spoken across a vast area stretching from Madagascar to Southeast Asia and throughout the Pacific Islands. Major Austronesian languages include Malay, Indonesian, Tagalog, Javanese, and Mari, used by hundreds of millions of people. Altogether, the family has over 300 million speakers worldwide. Austronesian originated several thousand years ago in Taiwan, where early seafaring communities began expanding southward and eastward. These migrations created one of the largest maritime expansions in human history, reaching remote islands across the oceans. Austronesian languages are classified into several branches, including Malayo-Polynesian and Formosan groups. Today, Austronesian languages dominate islands Southeast Asia and the Pacific, shaping culture, trade, navigation traditions, and national identities across many modern nations today, and remain central to regional communication, heritage, and shared historical memory worldwide.